welcome back to the channel guys uh, in the last tutorial uh, we saw how you can send the uh, post request so now in this tutorial we'll see uh, api chaining uh, meaning extracting the values from the response and how we can use it so we can uh, store this value and you can use in the further request so for example now let us say in the restful api when we create a booking we get uh, in the response as a booking id okay this is a booking id we get and now if i want to use this uh, into further call for example update booking or uh, delete booking or let's say simple i want to get that booking id okay so i need this booking id so how we can do that so let's see this so this is the jmeter test plan that we already created so here is the http header manager uh, we added a header and uh, this is the http request we added all these details here and this is a post call here is a request body and now here uh, we'll have to add the json extractor let me delete this okay i will show you that so just right click on the http uh, request and go to add then go to post processor and here you see json extractor just select that and here let me request send this request now here you can see this uh, booking id in the response so here we have to give the json path expression so it will be dollar dot booking id and let me give the variable name as uh, same that is booking id and uh, this is the debug sampler which basically used to uh, debug the uh, jmeter script it's very difficult but it is will really helpful if you add it so how we can add that so just right click it on the thread group go to add and then here you see the sampler and then select the debug sampler okay so just drag and drop to here and uh, let me clear this and we just extracted the booking id and this value will be stored into the booking id variable we'll see whether it is extracting or not okay so let's execute this so now here we got the booking id as a 9878 but how we can verify whether this uh, extracted value is stored into the booking id so we have a debug sampler over here and uh, in the response data if you come to the response body so you can see that 9878 this booking id stored in the booking id variable okay now if we want to verify whether this booking id is stored and how we can use this so let me just uh, duplicate this uh, request okay and let me rename this to get booking and uh, this is the get booking and here instead of post it will be get so no need to keep any body and instead of uh, this we'll have to uh, give the value so now in the uh, postman whenever you whenever uh, we save any variable for example this then uh, we extract those value in double curly braces okay but in case of uh, jmeter we have to give dollar and open curly brace okay open and close curly brace inside the curly brace we have to give the variable so that we can access this uh, value okay so let me go into this we gave the booking id let me give this uh, booking id here okay and uh, yeah that's it uh, so let's execute it one more time 
so now here we created the booking this is post request and uh, we got the 420 as a booking id and let's see the gate booking now here uh, this booking id came over automatically okay and this is the response that we got from this okay so this is the first approach uh, so this will help if you have the multiple requests in the same thread group okay but what else if we are trying to get uh, the booking id into the next thread group so let me duplicate this uh, okay and uh, here i'll rename this as a uh, get booking okay just a second get booking id okay and i will uh, remove this this is not required and uh, let's start and we'll see the result this is not coming we'll have to drag and drop it again because this is duplicated let's see one more time so now as you can see uh, it did not uh, detect the booking id why because uh, the booking id that is stored the scope remains inside this thread group only okay so it's a local variable so if you want to store this and use it into another thread group so we have to use json uh, I mean bean shell processor we have to use it and we have to store that value so how we can do this so just uh, right click on the HTTP request go to add then go to post processor and uh, select the bean shell post processor okay so now uh, this is the script area we have to write the bean shell uh, scripting this is the post processor i mean whenever this will execute automatically after the this uh, uh HTTP request execution okay just like the json extractor uh, we saw this will execute okay so how we can extract this so we already extracted this uh, booking id but uh, we have to store this so how we can store this okay so let's see so now here if you see this function helper dialog just click on that or you can just go to tools and uh, select the function helper dialog and now here we have to look for the set property okay so there is one method set property and we have to give the value of the property so let's say now name is this one and the value is uh, the value so if i click on generate and copy clipboard so if you see this is the dollar open curly braces and underscore underscore set property here we have to give name and it's a value now in our case we have stored our value inside the booking id and just like i said so if you want to have this value so we have to write uh, into the dollar okay so instead of uh, the value we'll have to write the booking id okay so let me just uh, do that and here is the booking id and i will give the same name of the property okay it's a booking id and let me click on to generate and copy clipboard so it has generated the syntax and let me close it and I will paste it over here this is not required so once uh, this is done so now let's uh, check whether this is uh, stored or not okay so let me just start this okay now we got the get booking id as 6366 and uh, booking id is uh, not stored okay so 
yeah this has cam here 6366 yeah this has overridden that thing uh, okay just a second let me check here so if it is coming over here okay now to uh, get this value we have uh, so, so to store the value we have used the set property uh, method and uh, to use that property that is the booking id we have to use uh, the property method okay so here is the property and here we have to give the name so name is booking id okay and just generate and go to get booking id and here if i give this booking id property okay now let me delete this restore it and let me see what happens okay. now here we got the booking id as a 6366 okay so here we got the 6366 booking id and uh, in the gate booking in the next call so we extracted this 6366 okay so i will uh, repeat once again so if we have extracted a value uh, from the response and we have to use the that same value into the same thread group then we can directly extract this value in the booking id and we can directly use the uh, curly brace like this but if we have to use this into the another thread group so we have to use the bin shell scripting so we have to add the bin shell then we have to use this method set property and uh, we have to give the variable name which we have to uh, use into the next call and the value to it okay uh, that we have extracted and this value is uh, we always write into the dollar open curly brace okay and uh, how we can extract this into the next call so we have to use the property method and uh, there we have to give the variable name okay so that's it from this particular video guys so thanks for watching have a great day guys bye take care